three, two, one. Hi, everybody. I'm Sean Patrick Higgins, a middle school computer science teacher from Portland, Oregon, and I am here to go over a project I did a few weeks ago with some teachers. They were requesting that they want to have it in video form. In three parts, we're going to make a graphic design mandala in Pixlr, which is like Photoshop. We're going to do some motion graphics in Scratch and we are going to then take that and bring it to social media. We're gonna put it up on YouTube. We're gonna take that, convert it into a GIF, put it up on Giphy and make a GIF wallpaper just like this. There'll be quite a few tips and tricks along the way, even if you've already know most of these programs. So I am in Google Images and I'm gonna do Connie Steven Universe. And when that comes up, I want to get a PNG. So I'm gonna to go to tools, I'm gonna to go to color, and I'm gonna click transparent. I'm gonna take this one right here, I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna save image as. So I'll do Connie 2. Then I'm going to take that image and I'm going to Pixlr. I'm gonna scroll down to Pixlr image editor, and I'm gonna click create new image, make sure it's transparent, and I'm gonna do a thousand by a thousand. That is, we could do higher res if we want to, but that'll just be easy, and that's the resolution of Instagram, so why not? Click OK, and on the top left here, I'm gonna click Layer and Open Image as Layer. I'm gonna grab my Connie. I'm gonna do Edit Free Transform. So I'm gonna take her down to a size that will work good for creating this kind of graphic mandala thing that we're doing. Love the sword. All right, so I got her up here. I'm gonna put a little angle on her if I hold my mouse out. I'm gonna angle up. Now what I'm gonna do is right click Merge Down and I'm gonna right click Duplicate Layer. I'm gonna edit free transform again. I think you'll get where this is going pretty quickly. And now I'm just going to kind of pick where I'm going to align Connie again and again. I'm gonna duplicate. But this time when I go to edit free transform instead of rotating it, I'm going to try to flip it. And that's gonna create a mirror effect. Nice, that's good. Merge down, duplicate, do edit free transform, and I'm going to flip it from the top now. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. All right. And that looks good for now. If we were doing this in Photoshop, you'd end up with a higher resolution. Pixlr does have a little bit of blur, but for making motion graphics in Scratch, that shouldn't be an issue at all. What I'm gonna do now is merge down and I'm gonna do a file save. And I'm going to save this as Connie mm, Circle Design 2. I'm gonna make sure my format is a PNG because we need it transparent for Scratch. I'm gonna click OK. Uh, this was the example of the one I, I did right before this. And we're gonna jump into Scratch. When we go into Scratch, we're gonna click Create. We are going to right click and delete the Scratch Cat. I'm gonna upload and I'm going to grab my design for Scratch. So I've got a little bit of code stuck in my backpack that I'm gonna bring out. This is actually for animating a GIF, but it's pretty close to what we'll need right now. I'm gonna go into motion. I'm gonna get a turn by one. We'll see what this looks like. Okay. So I can set that up to 100% and should be pretty close. What I'm gonna do is take this down a little bit, maybe to 95, because I want it to not be touching the edges at all, and that looks perfect. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, this is where we start to get into coding for motion graphics, and this project is gonna be ridiculously easy when it comes to code. You can just take your code and toss it back in that backpack to use again. And I am going to right click on my sprite here, and I'm gonna click Duplicate. The only thing that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change that size down. Maybe I can do 85. And I am going to change, I'm going to put a little negative. I could also turn this to just a turn left one degree, but I like the concept of just adding that negative because if you're turning right, how do you make it turn left? Well, you could turn right negative one degrees. I'm gonna take that down to 80. You can adjust this to the size, you know, see what your, your art heart tells you to do. I'm gonna right click and duplicate. And now I'm gonna take it down to, let's do 70. Now I'm gonna right click on that second one and I'm gonna take that down to 60. I'm gonna right 
click 50 and I think you'll see where I'm going with this and now's the magic moment I'm gonna run my code all right looks fantastic so I could play with the sizes if I wanted to adjust this or add some effects maybe like a pulsing for movement or color but for right now this is all I'm looking for so I'm gonna do County Motion Graphics 2. And while there's a lot more we could do with the background or adjustments to get through the video, I'm just going to save it up. And now I'm going to download it as a video. So I'm gonna click on File and I'm gonna record and export video. I am going to turn off the sound from the project and I'm gonna record at high quality. Uh, I'm going to save. Do Connie Motion Graphics 2. And I'm going to jump over to YouTube. And I'm going to hit my upload button. Connie Motion Graphics 2. And um, so if I wanted to, I could add some tags while we waited for it to process. Then I'll hit publish. So now your students have an easy way to, to share their work if they want to show the video of it. And it's going to take a little while to process into the higher quality. You can adjust it here once it does. But for our purposes of making it into a gift and sharing it that way, I am going to left click up here and I'm going to go to my creator studio. I'm going to click on my video manager. And now I'm going to left click here and I'm going to download as an MP4. Now I'm going to jump over to Giphy, which is the GIF repository website. They also have a creator. So what you want to do is make an account and then click the create button. You can drag and drop your file right here. All right. So once we've loaded up our GIF, we could add some text to it if we want. We could also add some stickers. For example, uh, there's quite a lot of uh, funny ones. I can take some of these and maybe add a little bit of something. Then I'm going to continue to upload. I'm going to add my social media tags. Once you've finished uploading, you can do full screen. You can download it. And if you download it as a social, you can bring it back into Scratch and animate it again. Start to You can start to create these very strange media loops where you're creating artwork, exporting it, and then able to bring it back in. There's also a couple really rad extensions for this project once you start to get into animation and GIF collage, and then bringing in those GIF collages back into Scratch. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. I look forward to maybe showing that to you next time. Okay, have a great one, bye.